be loved. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Here in Canada, it is Thanksgiving Monday, and so I want to start this video transmission um, with a note of gratitude and acknowledgement for the territorial lands of the Lekwungen speaking people upon whose ancestral lands I live, work, and gather. Um, the Lekwungen speaking people are now known as the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nations. And uh, just steps from my house is the Inner Harbor in Victoria, British Columbia. Um, incredibly beautiful place and a very sacred place for the Lekwungen. People. It was known as Palastus, the place of the cradle. And it was a rich um, grounds for clam, clam beds. And there used to be gatherings there from uh, nations all the way from Alaska to Washington. So wherever you're sitting today, um, just a moment of gratitude for what, what ancestral lands we're, we're living on and gathering on, or maybe not gathering because of the pandemic, but... Um, our place of being. Um, and that links a lot to what I want to talk about today. Um, I want to talk about the concept of being loved. What does that mean, to be loved? I thought about this a lot because um, my name, Amanda, actually means one who is worthy of love or beloved, be loved. And it's interesting because, um, if I'm being honest, a lot of the struggle I've had in my life is to step into that. Step into the worthiness of knowing that I am loved. Of course, I have a beautiful family. Um, they show me a lot of love. I've, I've been given, I've been privileged to be given so much love. And yet, it means nothing if it's not felt from within. I know this is something, it's not new, it's not a new concept. But I've been on this really incredible journey the past couple of years um, that has given me these hints and these clues about what it really means to emanate love from within. Now, I was called to be a coach, um, started in my 20s, and I thought it was such a fantastic job, and I don't think I really fully understood what it entailed, and of course, I'm still learning daily what it entails to be somebody's coach, but it, it did so much for me, but what I noticed was it's kind of this short-term gain because I didn't have that foundation of worthiness on the inside. I did a great job on the outside. My clients absolutely loved me. But yet, I had a tendency to self-sabotage. I had a tendency to take myself too seriously. And I had a tendency to constrict. So, I'm going to tell a bit of a story. Last year, I was in Sydney Spit with my family on a camping trip. And anyone who's from Vancouver Island and has been to Sydney Spit knows that it's a place of just awe-inspiring beauty. As most of Vancouver Island is, I feel incredibly lucky to live in a place with such incredible access to the gorgeous natural world. So I was in Sydney Spit and we were out uh, lying on a picnic um, bench, staring up at the stars. It was quite late, probably 10.30 or 11 o'clock at night. And I was just lying there. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just taking in the magnificence of the night sky. And if you've been anywhere where there's no light pollution and looked up at the night sky, it really is an awe-inspiring moment it looks like a dome over your head and in an instant I felt an unveiling I felt an opening and I felt completely imbued with love 
not romantic love. Although I did giggle to myself that it felt for a moment that me and the universe were in some secret relationship. <sighs> but it wasn't secret. Everyone is in that relationship. That love exists for everyone because it actually comes from you. That's where it comes from. You are love. And that shifted a lot for me. That moment, that feeling, that upgrade, whatever it was. Now, I can't pretend that I've been able to completely hold and integrate that feeling every single day since then, but I got that taste. I got that touch. And I realized you can go to all the coaching in the world. You can set all the goals that you want, but if you don't foundationally believe that you are worthy because you are love, it's just going to be a band-aid. You see, we all have these wounds, and some of them are subconscious, and some of us are not even ready to say that we have them. And they're kind of like our karma, constricted and tied to our being. Now, I use the word karma, and you don't actually have to believe in karma to get this. We can call it your ancestral line. You all know that you have ancestors, and that your ancestral line affects like a ripple effect. It affects how you were imprinted as a child. And it's, you can come from a completely loving family and still be missing that piece of self-worth. Holding on to that sense of love from the inside, not from the outside, gives you the power to go after those things because you feel worth, worth, worth. You feel worthy of them. And I'll tell you what it did for me. It made me want to do it for other people. Not do it for, I can't do it for you. It made me want, desire to have other people experience that fullness of love within. And if you feel like that, you're probably going to do it for someone else too. Again, not do it for, you're going to hold space for it. You're going to hold understanding. You're going to recognize that we all have different journeys to get there. And that if you can peel back, you can help somebody peel back one layer just in your being, just in how you show up in the world, you're making the world a better place. It's a pretty tough time to be looking out onto the state of things. But it's also a time that is incredibly ready for this level of love. But you cannot be that, hold that in the world if you don't hold it for yourself. So I'm reinventing myself as a path holder, as someone who can hold that energetic space. Because I know deep down inside of me, maybe not so deep, probably pretty close to the, the surface, that I have this incredible love, a universal love. And I want that to come out. And that means I'm doing the work to look at my shadow. I'm doing that work to see what holds me back from being able to fully express that. So, I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>